the economy sucks right now. We have inflation, we have people losing their jobs, we have all the all the government handouts from COVID are ending. And uh, on top of that, I mean, those of us in the USA, we have a leader who can barely remember his own name, much less lead a country. So the situation does not look good on the on the face of it. However, I want to offer you some words of encouragement, if, especially if you are a business owner, um, because while sales might be going down, and especially with the kind of the poorer segments of the population, the sales are going to be much more difficult. Um, at the same time, there is always money, right? There's always money flowing. There's always money in the economy. There are always opportunities, and there are always people that have money. Um, and frankly, there's always a government that's going to be printing lots of money, and the, that government is going to print that money and then give it to the banks, and then the banks are going to give it to their friends, and their friends are going to give it to their friends, and they're going to buy stuff. And like, there's always money flowing, no matter how bad the economy might look. And in fact, if you, I, I went and looked up the statistics on this, or the numbers on this just recently, during the Great Depression, during the worst part of the Great Depression, the unemployment rate was 25%. Right, so 25% of the people looking for jobs could not find jobs, which is bad. I mean, historically, 25% is really, really high. That's really bad. However, that still means that 75% of people, the majority of people were able to keep their jobs, even during the worst economic time in US history. So what that means is, if you are a business owner, you know, you might lose out on the people that are that are losing their jobs, the 25%, let's say, if this is as bad as the Great Depression, which, yeah, who knows, right? It, it could be terrible. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. But even if it's on par with the worst economic time in history, we still have 75% of people that are still making money that can still buy our products. Now, with inflation and stuff, it means that most people are getting poorer. That's true. But there's always going to be opportunities. Find the people that are not um, suffering or even the people that, that might be suffering, but your product is worth it to them and might even ease their suffering, right? Because even people that are, um, that are, that are in bad economic times, they buy more of some things. Right, like if you think about um, people getting kicked out of their homes during the 2008 crash, well, they had to live somewhere, right? So instead of, uh, they couldn't own their homes anymore, so they went and rented. Well, while the home prices were going down, the rental prices were going up, right? The landlords, the people that were uh, have it, renting out their houses were doing pretty well. So there's always, even in a down economy, there's always the people that, that still have the money that you can sell to, and there's the people that are, that are suffering that you can help them ease their suffering, right? You can offer them a cheaper, a more affordable option. You can help them save money in some way, and then they'll be glad to pay you for that. So don't be discouraged, just be adaptable. Just realize that, um, that the economy changes constantly and we either adapt or die. That's been the case since the beginning of, of uh, existence, right? Like the beginning of biology. So um, don't get discouraged. And um, that's really it. I just wanted to say that because I've noticed that the economy has not been doing well and I've noticed some, I've taken a hit on my own sales um, it, but you know, I'm going to be fine, right? Cause I'm going to d adapt and I'm going to stay with it. And I think you will be too. So hope you found that helpful. Um, if you did, I appreciate you leave me a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you later. Ciao.